All right, so uh, carrying on with this uh, idea is that I have just created my horizontal line uh, copy, and I'm, I'm gonna just put that into position. This will represent kind of the footer region or a section down here, um, depending on what it is. You know, I don't need a lot of space for that. This kind of gives me an idea. You know, I might change it later on, but the important part is that you have these things that you can duplicate and use for for different things. So if I wanted to add content, I can break this up into different sections. So maybe you have an aside over here. You have different sections that you want to add in. Maybe you want to fill in some things. So let's say um, let's say we wanted to add some content here. Maybe some copy with with a with a header and with some uh, some copy. So I'm going to get a little closer here. And, and so I'm going to add. Let's say we add in. Uh, I want to keep this kind of lined up with this D. So I might add another element like this to keep my edges kind of aligned. So I want this to be kind of where my my next my actual column begins. And so I'll add uh, I'll take get my text tool out again and I'm just going to add this will be I'll call I'll make this a header. Um, so and with that, I probably wouldn't use the light type. I might use something a little easier to read, um, which means I would maybe go with a demi uh, or something like that. Uh, and I'll I'll enter in something. Uh, let's see. Uh, so what is digital media? So of course that could be my headline, uh, and then. I'll leave that kind of there. Just to, I don't need all this extra space. So I've got that. What is digital media? And then I'll I'll make another one here. And then I'll make this. This will be my copy. This is actually what I what I want. And I might make that light. You know, maybe this will be light. Uh, and so I'll say blah 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 blah. So digital media. And one of the things you can do is you can get if you're familiar with uh, uh, web design, you actually get Latin. Uh, Latin uh, text that you can use for uh, oh it's called uh, you use it for websites uh, uh, lorem ipsum it's just fake copy text and uh, it's, it has a long history basically it's so so that you don't um, actually need to worry about reading the content uh, while you're designing your page. It's just dummy text that you can cut and paste and put into your web page so that you're really not worried so much about the content uh, as you are uh, just how it looks. Uh, one of the things you can do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh darn, I'm going to, I'm going to, grab this one and I'm going to pull this over because I'm going to maybe go two-thirds, one-third over here. So this would be my aside regions if I put things. Maybe there's advertisements over here. And then one of the things I can do to help define this line is to actually um, um, look at different uh, uh, justifications. And one of them is this one here that's called filled. And it's going to give me that nice straight edge here that I want. Um, one of the things that I might look at is okay that's nice and dark this one's a little bit lighter and it might be a little too dark and those are things that I'm gonna have to choose uh, some some things that I might have to decide what's acceptable about readability as I go along but for now I can just kind of uh, I can kind of lay this out uh, that's a little bit actually both of these uh, are a little too low oops what is digital media I'm gonna raise up to maybe maybe here and then this one is um, I'll raise up to say here, and I've got to make sure I get you know get things comfortable, and I may add pictures and those kind of things, or maybe a logo. So I may end up shifting all these things around, and so I would just keep keep working with this. Now one of the things you can do, and it's very helpful if this works, uh, if this uh, actually works like this, is you can create a, a group. Let's say I want to keep my my copy and my headline together. So if I move them, I can move them as a as a group. I can put them within a folder. Uh, I'm going to move that up, and then I can put these inside of it uh, uh, somehow. Actually, I'm going to drag that drag it into that uh, folder. 
Oops, I'm going to undo that. So sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Have, but something you can do, and it does help. Um, I, so as I keep going, I may add more things here. Uh, if I wanted to add, you know, a different, say I wanted to add a box onto the side, maybe a little advertisement box or something over here, I could take a new layer and I'll say this is an aside aside and maybe I want to make a rounded cornered box so I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm going to round the corners uh, I'm going to give them a little uh, maybe 10 pixels and I'm going to go and and I'm going to do something like this maybe I want to put something uh, over here and then I could take it and I could fill it with a, a color maybe a light color like so and then I have this nice light color that I could put other content in. Maybe that's an advertisement. Maybe that's something else. Of course, I can uh, use uh, do the same kind of thing. Again, I can make this. I can maybe this is going to be my search. Uh, I can do the same kind of thing uh, here. Maybe this is going to be my search uh, search box. I'll maybe I'll draw it. Oh, I need to un deselect that. Maybe I'll put in my search box over here someplace along the side. I need to go not my not that, but this, keeping my settings the same. And I'll drag in a little search box over here. So I'm just laying things, uh, laying things in, and uh, I'll fill that in with a with a color just so I can kind of see it uh, a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to just keep laying these things out. Uh, and I'll just keep going along and I hope you kinda get the idea of how I'm just quickly laying these things around. What's nice is that I can move these things around independently um, and uh, and go from there. Now if I wanted to do something like uh, add another image, like a background image, um, it's something you might consider doing as well. Uh, and let's see, now all along you want to make sure you save your files, uh, you want to save things uh, obviously you don't want to lose them so I would call this my my web layout my digital media web page version 1.1 1 .1. uh, and then it'll get the XCF uh, uh, prefix there and I'll save that that way if my computer crashes I don't lose everything <clears throat> which happens quite a lot so as a final touch I might consider uh, I might consider opening an, uh, a background image um, to my to my uh, to my page. Now let me see. Let me see if I can find this one. I I used it uh, and I forgot what I called it. So I put something on my desktop. Uh, let's see if I can uh, find out where it is. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find it. So as I go along here, if I wanted to add more things like a background images, I could do that and try to try to work that in. So for example, I took this very same idea as here, for uh, but uh, as this, just kind of a simple white gray kind of color, and I used it for uh, uh, a girl's kind of. Uh, example so I have text up at the top I have some type here and then I used a background image uh, of something like this that I just found online to 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 lay out in the background of the web page and just made just it's just adds a, another level of um, I don't know style to it and then I use some of the colors from the image for my borders and all that sort of thing. So I kept it really, really, really simple. It wasn't meant to be amazing or just, just kind of a nice, simple little web page that you could put together uh, in a few, uh, in an hour or so. Okay, so uh, taking something like that and putting that in there would be very, very, very nice. Uh, all right, so I hope that helps you kind of get an idea of how you can use GIMP to kind of lay things out in a page and, and do other other types of, of uh, manipulation of, of elements. Um, it, it, there's a lot you can do with it and it's free and there's a lot to learn so you just kind of got to get in there and go go for it.
Well, I hope this helped you and and it gets you going with GIMP and you get to get to work with it a lot and you enjoy it.